Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about Alex Jones. He's pretty much the politic equivalent of Joe Budden, and if you guys haven't heard of Joe Budden, he's a riot. I might talk about him in the future, but I want to get into this video, and I don't want to spend too much time in the intro. So without further ado, let's get right into this video about the crazy man that knows the proper way to open a jar of pickles, Alex Jones. So as I said, Alex Jones is a, a pretty kooky man. Um, I did mention the jar of pickles thing in the intro, and that's because, you know, I decided to come up with this video idea after 10 shots of vodka and maybe seeing uh, the Alex Jones, that's not how you open a jar of pickles meme a few dozen times. Um, it wasn't a few dozen times, I just thought that the meme was pretty funny. So I decided, hey, I should make a video talking about Alexi Jones. You know, like, uh, Ale Alexi from Modern Warfare 2. But that's besides the point, right? Because I'm talking about Alex Freeman Jones, not Modern Warfare 2. And so, I don't know if it's a character or not, right? And I'm not gonna reveal my political opinion midway through this video. But I think that everything surrounding him is pretty stupid. Um, he's funny, but I don't think, um... It's for the right ways, because if he's trying to be a political, uh, person, then maybe he should, um, you know, maybe say his opinions more instead of trying to start fights with the Young Turks, because, you know, as much as I don't like those people, uh, you know, respect them, Al Alex Jones, maybe, you know, just don't start fights with other people. I remember a while back there was, uh, shit, um... Hold on. <laughs> but, um, as I was saying, Alex Jones, the man, the legend, has been, uh, he's been thinking, right? He, uh, he thinks the, uh, the moon landing was fake, or it was staged to, um, hide NASA's secret technology. I mean, what would there really be to hide? Let's be realistic right here. I mean, what did they want to share with everybody? <laughs> Elon Musk. Um, no, I'm pretty sure if NASA had any secret technology, it'd probably also be accessible by our good friend Elon Gated Muskrat. Um, because we all know the shit that he's done. He's sent a car into space for really no reason. He, um, he believes the 9-11 attacks, very horrific, very sad. We're going to be coming up on the anniversary of that. Um, he <laughs> believes that the U.S. government was involved in the September 11 attacks, and, um, I think that's hilarious. You can think what you want to think, you know. Um, the 9-11 attacks were faked, you know, the Holocaust was fake, um, but, uh, accusing the government of being involved in an attack against civilians against their own country, I, that's a whole nother level. He was also, he also accuses the government of being involved in the Oklahoma City bombing. Um, he believes there's a new world order. Maybe we're on some leafy shit, like, oh, dude, the lizards are turning the government bad, and the chemicals in the water are turning those lizards gay. Um, so let's go over that. <laughs> the chemicals in the water are turning the frogs gay. The gays in the water are turning the frogs into chemicals. <laughs> No, oh, no, and he's been described as a lot of different things. He's been described as a fascist, an anti-Semite. Um, he he's just really crazy. He thought that there is a, a big brother. Um, it's just hilarious. He's had you know anti-Semitism and sexual harassment claims. When I'm gonna be playing some clips through the background of this audio, because you know when I play those clips, I want you to look at that and laugh and think, "Wow, these these people think that this man is violent." The same man who like rips his shirt in half while screaming and running down a hallway. Shirt him off! No! 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 Ah, yeah. Get away from me, racist! She's God! You know, he acts like a, 
Yeah, you know, he acts like fucking like somebody with Asperger's, and that's pretty ironic coming from me considering I have it. But um, a pretty recent controversy involving my friend Alex Jones was him getting shut off multiple news, um, you know, multiple social media, you know, Twitter. Make sure you check mine out. Um, YouTube that kind of stuff, and the thing is, it's not like there's, you know, multiple sources where you can get your, um, videos out, and all the other competition against YouTube is not extremely popular, you know, you're not gonna be like, oh, um, I'm bored of YouTube, I'm just gonna go on Vi Vimeo, or whatever, um, realistically, who would, um, you know, a Alex Jones, he's crazy, and I think that everything is funny regarding him. Uh, if you've seen pictures of him, he looks hilarious. And um, some things that he has actually said about Hillary and Obama, although funny, it just seems ridiculous. Like, you know, o Obama wasn't born in America. He wasn't born in Hawaii. I doubt he said that. I was just coming up with some things that people say. Um, he supports Trump. Um, I'm not against Alex, and I'm not against Trump. I kind of mix when it comes to all of that kind of stuff. But, um, you know. He, uh, he wants 19, 1776 to commence again if, uh, you know, the authority tries to take our firearms, and let's be realistic. Who in the right mind would, like, fire guns um, at the ATF or whoever that, who's going to come claim your guns? Like, it's unrealistic. Why would you fight against those people? Um, I'm pretty sure he's actually against vaccines. And so if he thinks that they cause autism, he must have had some vaccines uh, on him. He, um, <laughs> weather weapons capable of creating tornadoes and all that kind of stuff. So, um, I'm guessing Hurricane Maria that hit Puerto Rico recently, you know, that was designed by the government to make us feel bad for our good Puerto Ricans. Um, you know, no. Why would he? He, uh, he believes in a white genocide theory. Okay, so, um, white genocide, essentially, you know, mass killing of whites, and, you know, it's stupid. I'm not going to go into too much detail about it. But, um, he was in multiple conspiracies. Some are funny, some are not. Um, you know, like, the Khan, Shai Khan attack. But as I was saying, um, he has said a lot of different controversial events have been fake before, or involved with other things, like, you know, saying multiple uh, shootings have been fake, and he stated that nobody died in a couple of them, and that certain people are crisis actors. Uh, some people filed defamation lawsuits against him, which isn't that surprising considering, you know, you're saying that their family members didn't die and set attacks, you know, it's pretty ridiculous uh, for somebody to think that. Now, after all, uh, after all this, like I said earlier, I think he might just, you know, it might just all be a joke, a uh, goof, a gaff. Um, you know, to get a reaction, or just a character, because, you know, let's be real, would he really be claiming that, uh, a yogurt company, <laughs> um, their factory was connected to a, uh, <laughs> crimes, and, you know, he was going to be sued for libel if he didn't respond and apologize, um, you know. And I might as well talk about a show while I'm at it, the Alex Jones Show, um, whatever you want to call it. You know, it's a pretty fun one, you know, everything considered. You know, it's, um, it's not that fun. It's really stupid. If you look at it, you know, InfoWars... It's ridiculous what he <laughs> does in certain episodes. As I mentioned before, like ripping his shirt in half and screaming. Um, actually, earlier in July, uh, YouTube removed four of InfoWars uh, videos. Um, 
critiquing and citing long-standing policies against child endangerment and hate, and hate speech. Um, you know, they issued a strike on him, and on one hand, it's kind of understandable. On the other hand, it's pretty stupid. Um, you know, he has a very interesting past. He's a very interesting figure. Um, you know, he, uh, you know, actually, August 6th is when Facebook, Apple, YouTube, and Spotify removed all content regarding Alex Jones. Twitter is the only one that did not remove him, um, because Jack, the CEO, said he didn't violate anything, so it's whatever. Um, he also had his other, his other accounts usually excluding them, except for Pinterest, MailChimp, and LinkedIn. Um, the other ones he didn't get banned from. You know, he's an interesting character in the internet. He's definitely gonna go, gonna go down in the history of the internet, the history books. Um, he's done very interesting things. Um, you know, how do you open a can of pickles? That's a very interesting thing that he was talking about. Um, that's not how you open a jar of pickles. And then he can't even open the, uh, the can of pickles. Uh, he says himself it's a can. Um, the man is very ridiculous. He's extremely interesting. Um, certain pictures of him look extremely funny. Other pictures, not so much. Um, you know... He was accused of former employees, I'm guessing, of Infowars, of being accused of anti-Semitism, anti-black racism, and sexual harassment of males and females. Uh, obviously, Jones would deny the allegations, because let's be realistic. Would you really be like, oh, yes sirree, I do all that. No, let's be realistic here. Even, and I think he didn't, but I'm just being realistic. Would he really say, yeah, I did that, you know, he's a crazy man, very crazy man, but uh, I think that's going to wrap up this video, um, I hope you guys enjoyed, make sure you hit those like buttons, subscribe, um, you know, all that kind of stuff, I'll see you guys in the next video, hope you guys enjoyed this one, peace.